Thank you very much. So, for those of you who know my, my beautiful wife, you'll know that she's gonna have me do all the talking tonight. So, if I screw up, don't do a good job, you got her to blame right there. Like many of you in this room, I got involved with the Oasis because of two families. First is the Chanalis family. I've known the Chanalises since I was a... I've known the Chanalises since I was a little runt, working at the market basket during school. I always felt that Tony played a, an influence in my life. One by his work ethic, the way he treated people, but also his charity, pure generosity. And those are traits shared not only by Tony, but by Phyllis and the entire family. The second family is the McLaughlin family. Bill, our beloved Pat, and their children. Bill, I've known you since I was a little runt, dribbling a basketball up MBS's court. The entire family has supported the Oasis from the beginning, and our beloved Pat dedicated her entire life to helping these people. So when I was asked by both of these families to get involved, I, I did so out of a, a show of gratitude, a thanks, a sign of respect for anything they have meant in my life. But I can tell you this, I stand here tonight, and it's them I need to thank, because getting involved with the Oasis is one of the best things Mel and I have ever done in our lives. We've been fortunate to be involved with different charities and, and nonprofits. I sit on the board of a few of them, and they're all great causes. But the Oasis helps women and children. It gives them a foundation and a support that there's no other alternative for. It's the only shot at a future, and that out of no greater cause. I live in Franklin Lakes. I grew up there. My folks, who are sitting here tonight, have been married for 53 years next month. And that is about for us. That's a great achievement. Now, to self-preserve, I'm going to say it's a great achievement for you. But for me, this is easy. This is easy over here. <laughs> married 53 years. Live in a house a block away from us. Same house I grew up in. Great town, great environment. I went to MBS and Don Bosco Prep. Great schools. I went off to college and onto a career. Any success I've had today, any good I have done, has come from that foundation from that support, from that home. I had parents who taught me by example everything I need to know in life. Provided for me a home full of happiness and love, joy, security, safety, guidance, anything I could ask for. And the principles I have today and the values I have came from them and that home. As we all know, Franklin Lakes is a luxurious town. Growing up, it was like growing up in a big playground. Went to great schools that gave me that, that guidance and that support to build my life. Support evident by the fact that they're sitting here tonight, including my old principal, old teachers. Still supporting me to this day. I had a great foundation. My beautiful wife who stands next to me, Walter and Elaine are standing here with us. I hope and I pray that I can provide for them the same sort of foundation, the same support, the same home that I was able to enjoy and that made all the difference in my life. Now, the Oasis stands six miles from my home. Six miles. I've tried to work 32 miles every morning in New York City. Yet six miles from my home, 
It's a completely different world. A completely different world. These women and children have none of that. There's no support. There's no foundation. They don't have a family that can support them. Town, like a big playground. Please, I'll tell you this, none of us in this room, in broad daylight, want to walk around some of these areas that they live in. Want to walk around some of these areas that they live in and will never be able to leave. Schools that support them to this day, these kids are years behind. They're years behind with no support, no guidance to a future. They don't have a shot. The women are uneducated and they can't get an education. It's not an option. They can't get an education, which means they can't get a job. And if they can't get a job, they can't pay for a roof over the head, a meal on a table. They can't support their own children. We'll give those kids the foundation of support they need to build their own life. In every meaning of the word, they can't build a home. And that's a cycle. It's a cycle that repeats itself over and over again. It goes from them to their kids and so on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what the Oasis does. It breaks that cycle. It gives these people a chance. It gives them a foundation of support that there's no alternative for. It takes the kids off the street. It gives them that guidance and that support, help to a future. It provides avenues to a future, opens doors that didn't exist. So it's like the story you heard tonight from Jennifer. Gives the women the ability to get an education. It educates them, helps them get a job, which then allows them to pay for a roof over their head or a meal on a table. Allows them to support their own children and give those kids the foundation of support they need to build their own life. And every meaning of the word it helps them build a home, become self-sufficient, and have dignity. And that is an incredible thing to see. It's an amazing thing to watch, and we're proud to be a part of it. So I stand here, and I thank the McLaughlin's as the chalices for getting us involved, for taking what was in my mind a statistic in a far off place and opening my mind to the reality of what's happening minutes from my home. The Oasis has been incredibly successful, yet there's an incredible amount left to do. So from the bottom of my heart, I thank all of you for being here, for all your support, and hopefully your generosity tonight because I can't tell you how important it is. You're helping make their lives. I ask you this, come down and see it. Take a drive, spend an hour, talk to the women, serve a meal, sit with a kid, read a book, show them you care. If you want, give me a call. I'll take a ride with you. I promise you, you'll be happy. You won't want to leave. Friends and family, colleagues, partners, Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here. It means a lot to us. My friends and family of the greatest high school in the land, Don Bosco Prep. Thanks for everything. And lastly, for everybody to put tonight together, an incredible event, hopefully, very successful night for the Oasis, but certainly an unforgettable night for Mel and I, Walter and Elena. God bless. Thank you.